welcome to the morning session so we are observing the self by the self in exercise 1 and we are up to step 5 in step 1 we were observing the imagination particularly the feeling and thought in the imagination with the focus on the feeling in step 2 we were asking if the feeling that we are having at any moment in the imagination whether it is naturally acceptable to us or not naturally acceptable to us whether we want its continuity or we don't want to continue with it in step 3 we asked if we are comfortable with that feeling or we are uncomfortable with the feeling that we are having at any moment in step 4 we looked at who was deciding this feeling because after all if the feeling that i am having at any moment is deciding whether i am comfortable or uncomfortable whether i am happy or unhappy at any moment then i must find out where this feeling is coming from who is deciding it and we were able to conclude that the feeling that i have at any moment is my own doing it is a feeling that i am having and i have a choice in that i am choosing to have the feeling that i have at any moment and that is deciding my happiness or unhappiness so in that sense i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness irrespective of the situation outside irrespective of what is happening outside who is behaving in what a particular way because ultimately my feeling is based on my own choice and as we do these steps we may find that steps step 1 is the main step that we need to look at the feeling and then it seems like the second third fourth steps seem to happen almost instantaneously then we came to step 5 in step 5 we were seeing that this feeling that we are having at any moment we were trying to see how we are choosing this feeling that we are having what is the basis for that and we asked that question that the basis on which i am choosing to or i am deciding my feeling is that basis right understanding or is it an assumption in the absence of right understanding so if it is based on right understanding it will be natural for me to have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me and i will be in harmony i will be comfortable i will be in a state of happiness within with that feeling but if i am deciding my feeling on the basis of some assumption some preconditioning which i have not verified then it is not clear then i may have a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me or i may have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable so it would be indefinite i could be comfortable or uncomfortable 
I could be happy or I could be unhappy. But I want to be happy at every moment. Therefore, we could see that there is a need for right understanding. There is a need for me to decide my feeling on the basis of right understanding. Regardless of whether things are outside are to my liking or not to my liking. Because ultimately, that is not deciding my happiness. My happiness is being decided by the feeling that I am having. And we took some examples and we were able to see that whenever we decide our feeling on the basis of right understanding, it is but natural that we have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to us. So we continue to be comfortable in harmony, in a state of happiness. But whenever we have a feeling that is based on assumption, then it is not definite. It depends on what my assumption is about the other person. Which also depends on what my assumption is about myself. If I am not clear about who I am as a human being, then I will not be clear about who the other human being is. So first I have to have the clarity about myself as a human being. Then I have to have clarity about the other as a human being who is similar to me. And then I have to see what feeling I can have. So if I have the right understanding, I have understood myself as a human being and the other as a human being, then I will have the right feeling, a feeling that is naturally acceptable. But if I have assumed something about the other human being or about situations outside and they are not in line with my natural acceptance, then I will certainly be unhappy. So unless I have the right understanding, my state will be indefinite. Sometimes I will choose to have a feeling that is making me comfortable. Sometimes I will choose to have a feeling that is making me uncomfortable. Because my choice is not based on understanding. My choice is based on an assumption. And that assumption may change. Today my assumption may be something, tomorrow my assumption may change. Today I may be assuming that every person who has thoughts or who has opinions like me is somebody for whom I can have a feeling naturally acceptable. And for somebody who has a different kind of opinion, I may decide to have a feeling of opposition because I assume that person is different from me. I may be evaluating somebody on the basis of their opinion without the understanding of the human being as a whole. Similarly, I may be evaluating them on the basis of the sect that they belong to, the class that they belong to. I may be basing my feeling on how much physical facility a person has and so many assumptions that I may have. 
so ultimately we could see that there is a need for right understanding and i do need to decide my feeling on the basis of right understanding if i am able to do that then i can always have a natural feeling and i can always be in harmony and happiness at every moment regardless of what the situation is outside regardless of what the other person's behavior is like so there is definitely a need for this right understanding of all that i am related to all that i live with and since i am related to the whole of nature the entire existence therefore i have to understand the whole of the nature the existence and i also need to decide what feelings are natural what feelings are naturally acceptable to me in relation to all of the nature not just other human beings but all other units in nature so with this if there are observations or any sharing or any questions regarding this much content we can take them now you can raise your hand we can take your sharings we are talking about assumptions pre conditions and then right understanding mm mm-hmm. the basic uh, dispute in any relationship because is based on all these things in every dispute or every misunderstanding and most of our relations are based on certain uh, preconditions mm-hmm. we, we have made a certain mindset about a particular person and we naturally expect that this is the way that is to be reacted or response that has to come when i behave like this and when he behaves like this. and mm-hmm. if that situation then there comes the rift or misunderstanding so how to uh, put it in a clear picture yeah see the whole thing is we go by many many assumptions isn't it we are living our life with so many assumptions obviously about everything like you said you know of experiences and we make certain assumptions yes so so far we were not even looking inside we were largely looking outside and because we have assumed something about the outside if it matches my assumption i feel happy if it doesn't match my assumption i feel unhappy isn't it obvious and i am not even looking to see whether i ha- i am in control here or i am just like a puppet with that assumption isn't it hmm. so i go with lot of assumptions and i the whole thing is i believe it to be true this is why i behave in the way i behave with other people so if i assume that what i grew up learning is the right thing then i behave i think that anybody else who has an opinion otherwise is wrong so immediately i start trying to correct everybody else because i think i am right and i it has to be like this so i start trying to change everything outside because ultimately i'm trying to be happy and i don't know or i don't i am not able to see at that time that this kind of thing that i'm trying to do is almost an impossible task because if you are trying to change something outside how many people how many situations can you change so much is not in your control isn't it right 
but as i start looking inside and i am able to see that at least within myself that control 100% is up to me now the picture changes so now what i need to do is as we go further in the steps we will see that till now all that i was you know basing on assumptions i need to base it on the proper understanding of situations of you know people of interactions of behavior so it seems like how many things to understand but that that path that is opened up for me that view that i have through the natural acceptance that becomes my guide so as i keep going i will if i focus on what is naturally acceptable to me because that is giving me a hint of what i need to understand or what ultimately is where i want to be isn't it so with that glimpse with that um guide within me i can steer myself towards that direction and as i am doing that i will notice that many of these assumptions that i was going with are not in line now when i start referring to the natural acceptance more and more i find most of these assumptions or many of those assumptions may not be in line but some are in line so i need to verify these assumptions that i am having not that all assumptions are bad many assumptions may be right also but i need to verify them i can't just go by assumptions blindly because then i am bound to be you know unhappy sometimes because many assumptions are not in line with understanding so there i am going to be having a problem so ultimately i have to look at that so rather than go after each and every assumption and then try to um, analyze it or evaluate it you just have to keep observing what is right what is naturally acceptable and you will notice that you are comfortable with that and as you do that you will also notice that the otherwise assumption that you had is making you uncomfortable all you have to do is to just observe this that you you know may be holding on to an assumption that is making you uncomfortable the moment you see that of course you don't want to keep it and the rest seems to happen very naturally very um effortlessly except for some very strong acceptances that we may have had and they come to you know it's like in layers if we start checking if we start observing our behavior the way we act the way we do things we will find that there are layers and layers of assumptions within us about the reality that are creating the problem the reality itself is not the problem the situation outside is not the problem it is my assumption about it like for instance if we look at you know day to day basis even before we bring in another human being or something else that we are interacting with we dress a certain way hmm? we talk a certain way we make our hair a certain way let's question why are we doing it 
we just do many things based on the way things are right now everybody is doing it so we can also do this but we don't question why what is the purpose and we'll find that many a time there may be hidden fears within us anxieties within us and to try to avoid those we are doing many things we are not facing up to them just like when you are say you have a pain in the knee now you when you walk you try to avoid putting weight on that knee because of the pain you want to avoid the pain and you may be doing it without even being conscious of it now your gait becomes in a particular way right now you always tend to walk in that style in that manner avoiding putting weight on a particular leg so similarly within us so many thoughts keep going on which are based on so many different assumptions that we now tend to restrict our um, thinking to only that boundary and not beyond so if i have assumed that only my you know where i grew up my immediate family or what we call blood relative only those people are the ones i am related to it is a very deep rooted assumption now it will play out in so many different ways if i go outside and i hear some opinion which is different from what i have grown up with now there is disturbance within me because i have assumed that everything about this relationship which i had with my immediate family members only that is right so anybody has a different opinion now i look at them with that feeling of assumption a uh, feeling of opposition because i have assumed something about them similarly you know within the family also you know we may be having some opinion as siblings when we grow up when we move out when we you know um, have our own different experiences our assumptions change when our assumptions change now it looks like the other person has changed so much so i can't relate to that person now or i am not able to see the similarity i am not able to see the relationship so i have assumed something and with that assumption i am going so many things like this we will notice if we pay attention but because we were paying attention outside we are not noticing what is happening inside isn't it uh really that means in any relationship i can have some expectations or assumptions but i have to verify that with the right understanding whether it is in line or not well whether they are in line or not will come later first whether i am in line or not because that this is what is deciding my happiness obvious 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 yes yes that is that is the first thing but the normal relationship we have certain uh, working expectations mm-hmm. if they are not met then we get uh, disturbed yes uh, that and if that expectations are also in line with natural acceptance or not that has to be verified see a lot of times we have expectations from people 
without really checking their competence competence yes true isn't it so yes. if the other person doesn't have the competence my expectation may not be met right so if i have that clarity if i myself have the understanding that you know the other person the intention is pure it is just that they are not able to see the significance or they don't have the understanding they don't have the competence so although i expect certain things it may not happen that way if i can see that then i don't get disturbed i don't have to become unhappy i will try to make certain um changes so that first of all i will not you know have an unreal a very unreal expectation secondly i will try to do whatever i can to help the other person improve the competence even if i am not able to do that it's like you tell somebody this this work has to be done and i need it by such and such time now on that particular day particular time that i asked the other person to do the work i expect it on my table because i am like that i do things in a very particular meticulous manner if somebody tells me this has to be done i make sure i do it and i give it by the desired date desired time and i have assumed that everybody has to do it like this because that is the right way and if it doesn't happen that way then i am disturbed i am unhappy but if i can see that the other person may or may not have the competence i will try to put some checks i will try to do something which can help him to improve his competence before that date i will try to check maybe after i gave the task in two days i might check how far has it come are there any problems what have you done so far something now that person feels okay i have to do this i many people will postpone till the last day what has to be given and then suddenly realize there's not enough time to manage everything that had to be done to finish the task so there is a mismatch somewhere so all these it can our assumptions can play out in so many different ways in day to day life but what we do is on the final day on that date when we had expected now when it doesn't show up now i am also in crisis because i wanted that thing done by a particular date because then future planning has to be done or whatever else so now i get disturbed because now i don't know how to manage things i am unsure how i can further proceed with what i need to do because of that disturbance that panic within i am unhappy of course i don't have the right feeling and i lash out at the other also make the other also unhappy because my expectation was not met by the other person but if i could have checked on the competence i may have been able to avoid that panic state i may have been able to help the person along or maybe assign somebody else to help the person along to try and get it done in time isn't it Possibly. right didi suppose uh, in a public place especially in or during train travel mm -hmm. uh, after 10 o'clock uh, people are not to talk or uh, they are supposed to switch off the lights mm -hmm. but till uh, up to 12 o'clock people were talking they were mm -hmm. uh, keeping the lights on at that time it was a basic, basic understanding or the expectation that people are supposed to understand this about others comfort but if they are not having 
and even after complaining to the tt if they are not listening to it what to do and how yeah. i can keep my composure because <laughs> i am suffering yeah and you will notice this that um, you know what they are doing is one part of it the suffering part i am doing for myself yeah that so that because <laughs> i am not able to sleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know if i have that feeling of relationship for that other person then i may be able to go and request them i may be able to tell them but a lot of times i am not even able to do that because of this strong feeling of opposition that i have for that other person because my assumption my um uh whatever i can see right now is that this is a rule by 9 pm or something the beds in the train have to be opened up the seats have to be made into the sleeping mode and people need to sleep but i don't know the situation of the other person right the other person may be having all kinds of um disturbances within maybe chatting with people maybe having whatever lack of competence so my expectation that every person in the train must do things a particular way because i do it in a particular way there itself there is a problem isn't it i have assumed something which is not true because everybody doesn't have that competence right now to be able to see that whatever is going on supposing it was a loud no- noise of the engine that can also be disturbing but that doesn't disturb us why Except because that. because we have assumed that we can't do anything about it <laughs> yeah that is beyond our control <laughs> <laughs> ah so this we are trying to control but you will find that if you are very tired and sleepy you will fall asleep even when people are talking and all so the point is i'm not trying to say that you know uh, you have to go and try to make everybody quiet point is i have to see that things will not always be the way i want it to be outside why am i trying to make things a certain way wouldn't it be easier if i work on myself because there i have control outside i will not have control isn't it we may make rules everybody may not follow the rules but i don't have to become unhappy about that i can see that okay this is the situation they lack the competence let me try to sleep but i have assumed that that is the thing that is disturbing me the the noises from outside the train sounds the loud sounds the train horn all those things i assume that that is okay because of this yeah. assumption i have a certain response to that and i have a different response or reaction to this sound isn't it right right yeah i can make myself happy and uh, avoid un- being an yeah that suffering right. that i have is yeah. my own doing i don't have to suffer that i can see that there may be lack of competence right. if there are only two choices if i can do something to correct it i try to do it yeah if i can't do something to correct it at this time then i have to accept it isn't it but i don't do either yeah yeah namaste namaste yesterday i met with a very small accident mm-hmm. where i had no mistake i was keeping to my left and suddenly one auto wala came and tried to pass in my on my left mm-hmm. and there was no space mm-hmm. so in that case <clears throat> i was not i am uncom- uncomfortable there was a i was not injured very much but 
you see there was a scratch in my vehicle <clears throat> so i reacted to him that that this is the mistake you do not know how to fly uh, vehicle so i were driving like that but after that and then things went um, otherwise uh, he went and i went out and uh, you see uh, after that i had a i tried to analyze my feeling so in this case uh, i have no assumptions here uh, no preconditioning but still i am feeling a kind of unhappiness so how to analyze these things how to yeah of course we have assumed many things we have assumed that people should not pass from this side they should pass from the other side if they are trying to go past they should not go from the left they should go from the right so many things we may have assumed no that this is the law or this is the rule so they must follow the rule if they are not following the rule then there is a problem and i have i am going to be unhappy about it uh, isn't it yes sir i need to observe my feeling i'll find i have a feeling of opposition for this person because somewhere i you know whatever happened whatever maybe slight injury or, or even if it was not a major injury maybe the vehicle got slightly scratched or damaged or whatever i may have assumed that because this is not a fault of mine other person is responsible for this he should not be allowed to just go without any um, having to pay for the damage or so many things i may have assumed no mm. and with all those assumptions without trying to see you know, again if the other person doesn't have that competence there are only two things i can do either i can try to help him improve his competence if i am not able to do that then i have to accept that these things may happen in this in a busy street you know people may be rushing from one place to another and to expect to have that assumption that every day when i travel so many hours that i that go by no accident will happen ever that also is an unreal expectation because if you see the number of commuters that are going from one place to another the number of people on the road at a particular time in that office rush or whatever rush you know busy time to have this expectation that never ever should any kind of collision happen no matter how small that itself is a very unreal expectation no that everybody else should be as competent as i am in that situation so you will find that in every situation we are working with many many assumptions and based on those assumptions we have made some opinion about the reality and now we want to fit that reality into our assumption that it should be this way but it is not that way may not be but do i have to become unhappy in that situation do i have to have a feeling of opposition for the other person in that situation or can i have another choice and you will find that there is another choice sometimes we will notice this <laughs> that we are going in a vehicle and somebody crosses our path without any warning now we get very upset we may be having a feeling of opposition for that other person some youngster went past rushed past suppose we are at home and our child is out there in the same situation and having to rush past some other person because of some emergency some something that he needs to get done 
now we may have a different opinion we may have a different feeling for the person who rushed past what has changed action was the same perhaps i can see my relationship with my child therefore i have a different kind of feeling perhaps i am able to see that the child was rushing because of such and such reason therefore it was okay but i don't know anything about that other person who perhaps did the same mistake isn't it so i have assumed something about the other person i have assumed something very different for my own child and it goes on like that here i may not have a feeling of opposition rather i may have feeling of anxiety i i may have feeling of concern that the child should not get hurt there in the situation that i was and some unknown person went past did i have any concern for that person's safety no i had feeling of opposition he has come in my path see we perceive everything based on our own assumptions so whenever that assumption is questioned or uh, that assumption is not met then we seem to get disturbed but we certainly have many many assumptions isn't it whether you are doing something outside or not more important is what is your feeling inside because that is what is deciding your happiness or unhappiness so we focus on the doing but we are not looking at the feeling if you look at the feeling you can still do whatever you need to do outside but if you do it with the right feeling you will not be disturbed you see the difference yes that's right so whatever the question is not about what we do the question is not about how we uh, try to resolve it outside question is first and foremost can i resolve this inside because that will decide what i do outside if i have the right feeling for that person inside me then my thoughts will go in line with that feeling my behavior will also go in accordance with that and i will not be unhappy if i can have that right feeling within me and you will notice that it's not about excusing the other or that is not deciding my happiness my happiness is decided much earlier based on what kind of feeling i am having regardless of what the other person did it's just like what i just was mentioning if it is my own child i am ready to excuse him for many things if it is an outsider i am not willing to excuse him so you see the difference now the situation may be the same the condition of the person coming with that vehicle may be the same then i should not be excusing other people also but why do i excuse them somewhere my feeling is different for them isn't it but no, i am yeah. not focusing on the feeling i am focusing on the doing i need to now look at what i am feeling for that person also there you will see that there are many assumptions that i am working with i don't do anything outside that is doing outside now i may not say anything to him let him go but i can have feeling of opposition inside if that is the case i am going to be uncomfortable even though i did not react outside but i am reacting inside that is why it is important to check the feeling outside we may be doing many things right somebody something has to be done i do many things for them but inside if i am doing it with resentment of course i am unhappy even though i have done everything for them and this will happen so many times we do so many things for our children isn't it and then we say the child is not grateful for this this 
because we may be doing many things outside we may be taking care of the physical facility we may be doing many many things but inside what is our feeling at the base if the person doesn't express gratitude what is my feeling at that moment for my child let us question that those things let us see our own feeling first we will notice that there are there are many places where we thought that we have feeling of relationship but at that moment we may not be having feeling of relationship we may be having feeling of opposition anywhere where you are uncomfortable in any situation there is a problem with the feeling that i am having otherwise i will not be disturbed i will not be unhappy somewhere i have a feeling not naturally acceptable let's check it if we can do the right thing right relationship right understanding i think there are lots of situations uh, coming in our uh, all life daily so starting from early morning i i remember very well uh, before just starting this uh, workshop early morning 5:30 uh, we were just going on but now it is the time that we have made ourselves uh, ready <laughs> to wake up early for 4:30 only <laughs> make ourselves ready to hear something good and some uh, whatever the didis and bayas are giving their uh, experiences really these are something uh, just changing your life and making uh, ourselves as well as when we talk to our students when we go to the college we tell them these uh, experience of our uh, in their life also a little bit trying to make the life there also change uh, in thinking and giving a what you can say right way of learning so that is what my exploration did thank you thank you our assignment is that in all our activities not only are we going to look at the feeling but also try to see the assumption that we are having what assumptions may be leading to the feeling particularly when we feel uncomfortable because there we will be able to notice this discomfort so somewhere my whenever i am uncomfortable check the feeling what is the feeling and what is the basis for that feeling what have i assumed something i may have assumed that is leading to this feeling we'll try to do that assignment today and we will um, take your observations to